Chinese call it Taiwan. We call it Formosa, citadel of free China. Here, Aborigine girls, descendants of the ancient mountain people of this island off the China coast, make strange music by pounding wooden rice pestles on stone. Now the performance is an old Aborigine dance. In recent years, many of these mountain people have come down to the lowlands, adopted the ways of the Taiwanese or native Chinese who settled on Formosa centuries ago. But only in modern times has the island achieved its greatest importance, become the sanctuary and the stronghold of countless thousands of free Chinese. Taipei, the Taiwanese capital, is Formosa's largest city and government seat of nationalist China. Taipei streets have a decided Western look with all the familiar and progressive refinements. Here, traffic and the traffic cop are equally busy, particularly since the influx of Formosa's newest immigrants from the Red China mainland. The old south gate of Taipei still stands reminiscent of centuries long lost and sleeping. In the realm of business, Formosa also follows the pattern of the Western world. The Taiwanese maid, once confined to domesticity by rigid tradition, has been emancipated, her abilities recognized. Not that this Formosan miss is apt to break any speed records in this oriental version of Hunt and Polk. Today, Formosa, a semi-tropical garden land, must feed some nine million persons, spread over an area slightly larger than Vermont and Connecticut combined. Yet, Taipei's food markets are full. Boy and sugarcane go together, with customary results. But children are especially important on this enterprising island. Upon their shoulders will fall much of the responsibility of free China how she takes her place in a free world, and how she survives. Taipei International Airport. Taipei, capital city of Taiwan, or Formosa. This island fortress in the western Pacific, just off the southeast coast of the Red China mainland, is a landmark of destiny. Welcome to Free China. Free China, what a difference a word makes. Here on old Formosa, there is new faith in one of mankind's most cherished dreams, the dream of liberty. Liberty for those strong enough to take it. Liberty for those brave enough to die for it. And who are these? They are the fighting men of nationalist China, the determined and dedicated legions of freedom and hope, sworn to one single purpose, the liberation of their homeland. They look forward to the day when that bamboo curtain will be forever lifted. Toward this end, they too have pledged their lives and their sacred honor. Log heaving at Fengshan Academy, West Point of Taiwan, builds muscles and morale. And these hard training cadets have plenty of both. Bayonet practice, another mandatory course in the soldiers' fighting curriculum, further toughening the armies of free China. No, this isn't a young gentleman's dancing school, nor have these tough nationalist marines gone suddenly social conscious. They are dancing, but for a reason, relaxation a form of recreation long practiced by Formosa's ancient mountain people. Liberate the homeland. The Navy spells it out with signal flags. Unlike its counterparts, the Navy operates between Formosa and the mainland, sailing ceaseless patrols. Liberate the homeland. It's a call to arms, a 
living challenge to every fighting man of nationalist China. It's an integral part of the silent confidence of the pilots, those who will do their fighting in the sky, those who may be first to tear apart that bamboo curtain. Meanwhile, the preparation and the rehearsals go on, just as they have countless times before for the men of Formosa. It's a grim game they play, this game of war, but the practice will pay off. Forces of free China will be waiting and ready. The planes will take off with their bombs and their rockets. Every well-trained specialist will know his job to perfection. On the water, the assault craft will be moving in toward the enemy shore. In the air, the planes will provide cover. Every rendezvous will be timed and scheduled. Every rocket will find its objective. Every troop carrier, its special beach. These are the days of preparation. Tomorrow, who knows? nationalist China. In the meantime, Formosa waits and grows stronger. But the nationalist forces, though they have not yet struck their own blow for freedom, remain an increasingly potential threat to communist China. Over a half million fighting men, rigidly trained and toughened for any battle task. Formosa itself is a highly strategic weapon situated across the southeastern flank of Red China. She is always formidable, a sword drawn against the usurpers of the homeland. Despite only parades and rehearsals for war, these forces are tying down a considerable army of the enemy on the mainland. These, then, are the legions of free China, spirited, determined, dedicated. And this is Formosa, Taiwan to the Orient, an island arsenal in the Western Pacific, a bastion of freedom, and a promise to make other men free in this world of ours.